welcome to Wordy Nerd. I thought today we'd have another adventure. Uh, up in Harrisburg, they're having a Midtown Scholar Book Festival, so I thought we'd check it out. Saturdays today, um, uh, uh, we'll be I'm going to purchase a book, I guess, for you. No, uh, you would take it up to the main register up there. Wow, that bookstore was phenomenal. Uh, I'm not even quite sure the footage that I took could convey the <laughs> the height and the width and the depth and all that of this bookstore. It was akin to a labyrinth and, and you kept turning a corner and there's books and then you could turn that corner and there's more books. Uh, it was amazing. Uh, I heard three people walking by um, different parts of the building. I kept hearing the word overwhelming and I think that was a really great word to describe this bookstore but it's overwhelming in a good way because it sort of starts off, you're like, oh, okay. And as you start getting into the sort of underbelly of the store, it's just so many books that it was overwhelming, but a good overwhelming, because the books are just everywhere, like, buy me, buy me, you know you want to. Um, so it was really great. I, um, they have the list of their genres on their website. I will put that link in the doobly-doo. Uh, while I was there, I picked up a couple books. Um, I got Dutch Art in America. I'm sort of starting to brush up on that area. Uh, I am interested in that, and it was actually only 6 dollars 
I thought that was a really good price. And these books, if you aren't an art person, might not be too terribly interesting or design person. Uh, American Hand or American Iron Hand Presses by Stephen O. Sachs. Um, this one was four ninety five. What? <laughs> um, it's interesting because it was. I liked how they had like the main categories, and then they had a lot of stuff in the subcategory. So they had a, a printmaking section and a painting section. It was just amazing. Um, and they had the artists by the artists and then the genre. It was just really well organized. Um, I hadn't seen this book before so I thought I would pick it up. Um, if you're a letterpress person you're going to like this. This is the biography of Otmar Mergenthaler and he is the inventor of Linotype. Yay! And this one was only nine dollars. I had never seen this book before and it was just really quite interesting. Um, I do some letter presses and of course I teach art and design uh, so I thought this would come in, in handy for work. And as well I got Type Design Radical Innovations and Experimentation by Teal Triggs. Uh, well, the cover actually lured me in and then I'll try to position myself and then it just broke everything down really interestingly. Um, and I thought that would be useful for work and for myself as well. Uh, a great bookstore. Uh, I would call this, if you're up in Harrisburg and you're on like an adventure day, uh, take a little bit more time than you were expecting. I was only thinking maybe a half hour, an hour. I ended up spending like four hours there and I felt like I could have probably spent a little bit more time. So I'm going to be going up again uh, just to sort of check things out on a slower pace. Uh, they have a lot of book events, and it was just all around a fantastic bookstore. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.